Is this really true? Do you really have to pay a cancellation fee when you're canceling your reservation with Audi for their all electric e-tron? The short answer is no, you, you, you don't have to. That would be ridiculous. However, you've probably seen a few articles out there in the last 24 hours or so stating just that. So now I did reach out to Audi to get an official answer. And as you know, there are usually two stories. One uh, is about the United States uh, and the North American sales. And another one is about uh, Europe. But let me tell you about that one particular customer. Really, really, those articles are only talking about one customer in Norway. What happened with his reservation? Why there's such big hoopla uh, about it? And what the real truth here is. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so I normally try not to do videos about stories that of, of things that are not happening, but I can't help myself but but wanted to make to inform you guys that what's happening right now there in a, in a different publications, uh, uh, electric car publications, is unfortunately not true. And so here's what the stories uh, are claiming to uh, to have happened. Um, they're saying that there's a person in Norway, which is true, um, who reserved uh, an e-tron and it takes, by the way, I'm a reservation holder myself. If you didn't know, I put my, my thousand dollars down and um, that person wanted to cancel a reservation. And as soon as, uh, as he said that, Audi said, well, give me give me 8% of the restocking fee or whatever you were calling. Now, turns out that's not how things really happen. Turns out that this person wasn't trying to cancel the reservation. This person already ended up signing the purchase contract, entering the contract, the, the, the car was uh, being put into the production queue. And it's at that time when that person said, okay, well, I want my money back. And then, you know, um, Audi said, well, actually it wasn't even Audi, but let me get to that. Uh, he was told that, uh, hey, you know, we're already building your car, so what are we going to do with that? Um, and now, by the way, they're still negotiating. Now, that story is not even over. This is what originally he was told. And, you know, one of those articles that I'm referring to is actually finally got updated and said that it wasn't really the Audi uh, brand that uh, that uh, that told him this. It's actually that particular Audi dealership in Norway uh, that told him that. And the contract is between him and the dealership. So, um now, this is pretty much a pr pretty much standard practice with everything. If you remember, if you wanted to reserve Tesla Model 3, you would put down $1,000. And then if you wanted to move forward, you would have to give them another $2,500, which wasn't really refundable because now they're putting the car in production queue and they have to work for it and it's technically is yours. Now, Tesla decided to charge the $2,500, which I actually don't have a problem with. A lot of people did, but I don't. Uh, but in this case, how you charge him zero dollars to move forward and so that i would assume that would be a good thing but uh in this case he decided to cancel while already under the contract and therefore those fees might apply it looks like they might wor work it out so um so it's it's a little unfortunate that something like this was reported especially by the what i consider an electric car friendly uh publications i kind of feel like even if you may be a, a, a pro Tesla or a pro a certain brand, I really feel like we're still in the same boat and, you know, reporting about electric cars really should be uh, done in a, in a sort of responsible manner. And in this case, maybe reaching out to Audi would have helped. You know, we all have access to uh, to their PR people. So let me tell you about what Audi uh, uh, told me officially about what's happening with uh, when you want to cancel a reservation. Before that, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by a car where you don't have to put any reservation money down. So the full refund is ready for you at any time. Uh, over 50,000 people already done that. Reserved an Ambyte, the car from Byton, starting at $45,000, coming at the end of next year. Uh, uh, it's, it's amazing. Look at look at the interior, the amazing big screen and your dashboard. Go to the description of this video to reserve yours for $0 takes about 60 seconds to do that. Okay, now I reached out to um, Audi because I wanted to make sure that I got my uh, facts straight. And they said that the United States, there's no questions asked. You get $1,000 back once you cancel your reservation. Now, I myself have been kind of checking in with them and asking. Uh, I said, hey guys, you know, I'm still not 100% sure, which I'm not. I don't think I'm even 90% sure right now, but we'll, we'll see. Um, you know what's 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 going on? What's happening? Uh, am I 
too much too far in the process and i will be told all the way until this car the dealership um and you've signed a contract you can get your thousand dollars back right away um now in europe it's a bit of a different process i guess uh there's a two-step process but once you enter the second step you're committing you're committing to the sale of that car and then you're in a completely different universe so whether you're buying a neutron or a tesla or you're trying to reserve in any other car except for byton obviously because it's zero and i kind of encourage a lot of manufacturers to just do that reservations should be free i think it's just anyway but um be careful just make sure that you know when the, your reservation is actually now a part of the purchase um that's a pretty that's a pretty big deal that's a pretty big milestone in your in your process so make sure that you know that but again one case in europe was not a reservation cancellation um the policy is still the same so i just want to kind of clear it up and and kind of make sure that if you guys have seen that article uh you would be aware that that that's what's really not happening uh, uh really uh, by the way don't forget to get on our vip list that's also free and we'll give a refund to anybody who wants their money back uh and go ahead and uh, subscribe uh, at e4lecture.com vip exclusive stories exclusive deals i've talked about it a lot and a lot of you guys signed up already so i appreciate that all right other than that uh let me know your thoughts looking forward to uh, the comments in the comment section other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged